because I've, I've been doing everything mostly on my own except for like bigger jobs where I've had to hire a crew is that I, um, it forced you to see things outside the box and from other perspectives. And I think the blessing and the struggle, like what we were just talking about, is that when I do finally have a crew, like, you know, like me and we were talking about, like, it'll be so, like, the vision will be so much better executed. It'll be easier. Like, and believe it or not, like, they've been, like, we've, there's been times where Carney's been coming to shoots with me, like, taking photos and stuff for me, like, BTS and stuff. Like, so I'm trying to turn them all into camera ops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you you might see a movie with, with directed by me and they'll all be part of the fucking crew. You know what I mean? But, like, it's. That's definitely, that's definitely like where I'm at. And I think um, I have some short films that I've already written, like, and I just haven't acted on. I don't know why, like out of fear, you know, out of doubt, you know, the typical shit that creeps into your brain. But again, like, I can't stress enough the the beauty of having them so close. And like Carney said in his interview, we live together. So like literally, like whenever we're having a bad day, like I just go in my room, throw myself on his bed, like, bro tell me I'm stupid <laughs> and tell me to stop being weird. And he's like, bro, like, come on, like, you know, get it together. And I do the same for him. Like, I mean, that, that shit is like crazy. Dude. I think like the, I honestly think the biggest mistake that young people like, or not even necessarily young people, but like people who um are like trying to direct for the first time, like their biggest mistake is not realizing what a collaborative process yeah. it is. Yeah. They're just so much like, well, I'm the director, so yeah. what I say goes. And, and that's not true. And, like, it's not, and you don't even understand how much your job as a director is communicating with yeah. people. That's really what you're doing. I think the, the, uh, the best directors are good at allowing people to be their best versions of themselves. Yes. Yeah. I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like uh, it depends on, like, the personality, right, of the person. And you have to know what this person is capable of, but also too, I feel like if I'm not making you a little bit uncomfortable on set, like if you're not getting frustrated from me being like, nope, run it again, nope, run it again. All right, yeah, I like that, but let's do it like this, then I'm not doing my job. You know what I'm saying? Like, and also too, like it, it's it's a process like where we have to almost kind of humble each other. And I think the more, like I said, I work with this group, like we we have that experience all the time. Like me and Carney are to the point now to where we just kind of know how each other works, so it just flows. But even when I'm working with the rest of them, like we we don't, I never, like, if I say, okay, how about this? Like, when me and Lala were coming up for the treatment for a couple of her videos, like, even when we are actually shooting, she's like, hey, what if we try it like this? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it, now, and not just with her, but with anybody, if it flows for, because I'm already, I already know how it's going to look from A to B or from A to Z. So if, if it doesn't, like, if it doesn't help move the story further, I'm like, nah, like, just trust me. But if I'm like, if she's, or anybody is like, hey, like, this looks like, I think this will look better. Of course, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like, and I think that's something I want to take into <clears throat> narrative and short film and all that stuff is just being able to not be so like my way or the highway. Yeah. Because I mean, that's not, and plus no one wants to work with a jackass. So. Exactly. That's, a, I, that's I mean, the biggest a, thing. It's a big part of being successful in anything, right? Is being able to understand the personalities of the people around you. Like yeah, for sure. You know, like you can try to categorize like, you know, people's personalities, but at the end of the day, you can't if you're you can't just be good at you know those four categories that they try to you know divide a personality into like you have to be because everybody is different you have to be able to fluidly understand you know how people feel in certain situations and why they feel like that and and what makes them tick and that's the only way you know you'll get the best out of people and it's the only way people will look back at you and and think like okay i'm this person is trying to get the best out of me which again makes them want to do that it's the same in you know everything i always compare like the art side of things whether it be music or or movies or sports and just because that's my more my background and i think it's such a vitally important thing that like is coming into all different types of like business, I guess now, or like all different, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for professions and stuff Mm -hmm. like that, but there's still that old head way of thinking for a lot of people of like, Oh, like if the boss wants something done this way, we have to do it this way. Like you have to understand that some, a, that might not be the way that somebody else is the most efficient and B, like that might not be the best way to do it. Just because you've been doing something for 20 years the same way oh, doesn't yeah. mean that it's the best way to do it. Oh, yeah.